Hey guys, Ketan again. Today we are solving another problem from the beginner level of Code Chef. And the problem that we are solving today is Chef and Remissness. And the problem code is R-E-M-I-S-S. -S. Right. Let's go through the problem statement. Chef is now a corporate person. He has to attend reg office regularly. But Chef does not want to go to office. Rather, he wants to stay home and discover different recipes and cook them. In the office, the Chef works has two guards who count how many times a person enters into the build office building. Though the duty of a guard is 24 hours in a day, but sometimes they fall asleep during their duty and could not track the entry of a person in the office building. But one better thing is that they never fall asleep at the same time. At least one of them remains awake and counts who, who enters into the office. Okay. Now boss of chef wants to calculate how many times chef has entered into the building. He asked the guard, uh, guard and they gave uh, gave him two integers a and b count of first guard and second guard respectively help the boss to count the minimum and maximum number of times chef could have entered into the office building okay so basically we have two guards uh, let's call them guard a and guard b and they give two numbers to the boss guard a counts that guard, guard a says that he saw chef leaving the building uh, or rather entering the building uh, 19 times right in this example and then guard B saw him 17 times right all boss wants to know is what could be the minimum possible number of times that chef has entered the building and what is the maximum number of maximum possible number of times chef could have entered the building right we need to find a maximum and a minimum okay let's think about minimum we know that both the chefs won't fall asleep at the same time right so let's say uh okay now the minimum i say that the minimum will be the maximum of these two numbers well how am i saying that because if guard a falls asleep and then guard b takes uh and while guard a uh, was awake let's say chef has entered 19 times right and guard b, when guard a fell asleep and guard b took over guard b saw that uh, chef entering 17 times right now what could be the minimum uh, it can't be 17 because if guard b saw him 17 times and guard a saw him 19 times then the least possible thing is 19 right uh, guard a can't, can't see two more times uh, without uh, chef entering the building Right, he can't see chef if he's not entering the building. So the minimum should be 19. Right now, coming to maximum, guard A could see uh, 19 times uh, and guard B could see 17 times and it could overlap. Right, let's say guard A saw 18 times and then uh, he saw him uh, and, uh, and the 19th time the chef is entering, guard A saw him. And also guard B2 saw him, right? And then guard A fell asleep after seeing the 19th time and guard B continued for some time and he saw him 16 more times, right? Now one uh, sight is an occurrence, is an overlap, right? In that case, the sum would be 35 instead of 36, right? That could be an average, uh, a normal case, but we don't have to consider all of those cases. We just have to see what could be the maximum. What will be the maximum when guard A falls asleep just then and guard B takes over uh, at, at the same moment right then they can cover the whole time and that will give us the the total number of times that uh, chef could have entered right so the maximum will be sum of A and B okay so this is very straightforward minimum will be maximum of these two numbers and maximum will be minimum of sorry maximum will be sum of these two numbers right so we just put it in code and off we go okay let's take c plus plus we have the test cases uh, code already so we just need to take a and b we have a and b we take them in a and b now we have to see out maximum of a and b right so let's say if a is greater than b 
then we see out uh, a and then the sum which is a and b right else we see out b and then a plus b that's it right if a is greater than then we output a and if b is greater than we output b but the maximum will uh, remain same in both the cases right uh, we could also uh, eliminate these if else and just get the maximum of these two and then do it but uh, it's very it's a very tiny detail so we don't need to think too much about it it won't matter in the end uh, yeah that's it so let's check it with the given input uh, example input that we got let me just type it it's hard to get it 19 and 17 right so let's run it we should get 19 and 36 right uh, but we need a space in between so we need to put a space here right that's it there we go we should get 19 and 36 and that's the answer okay let's submit this and in the meantime, let me talk about time and space complexity. Uh, we are not running any loop inside. So we don't have, uh, well, we are not running any loop or anything, or it's not even recursive. So the time complexity is just constant time because we are just running one if else statement. So it's order of one. And what's the space complexity? We don't have a, any array uh, storing the values. So it's also order of one so that's both time and space complexity of order of one or order of one which is great right that's the best case now uh, yeah that's the correct answer so thank you for watching and uh, let me know if you have any doubts and yeah share it with your friends if you like it and hit the like button thank you guys see you in a bit